So I wanted to post a quick update because I previously released a build guide that recommended um, less area damage than it probably should have. Uh, I was using my 269 tests and apparently what, when they changed the iron rows, they also changed how it can proc area damage. And so here we've got some tests without the simulacrums and with the simulacrums for the iron rows procs in regards to area damage. And the first one here is without the simulacrums. And as you'll see here, um, the only area damage values we're seeing are from the blood siphon ticks. We're not really seeing, like these are all different values, different values, or there was an area damage proc in there, but it was very low, like 200K. But all the big values here from our own Nova procs, like they're all separate numbers. Yeah, so there's, we're hitting a ton of targets here too. So if it had area damage, <laughs> it probably would have shown it, right? Yeah, so far as I can tell, uh, your own Novas do not proc area damage with the Iron Rose. However, when you take a look at the Simulacrum's Iron Rose proc to Nova damage, you will actually see area damage values. So this is just random scattered values from the Nova damage. And then here, you see this was a delayed hit from the Novas, meaning that it was several frames behind my own Nova, meaning it had to come from uh, one of the two simulacrums, and it is a crit, apparently, for 7,186,402, and that particular one there is what apparently procs area damage. I have 50% area damage on gear, uh, 3,593,201 is exactly half of that value. And so this proves in my mind exactly that it's the simulacrums that are now proccing area damage from Iron Rose procced Novas. So I decided to take the additional step to retest uh, manually cast Novas as well. And let's start off here with the manual cast from the, uh, the player character. Okay, there's the Nova damage. And there's the area damage. So we have a value of 820,196 times 2 gives us uh, 1,640,392, which is that value right there. So now here we're taking a look at the manually class with the simulacrums. And you can see I've positioned my simulacrums behind my character. That'll make it easier for me to see which hits from the Nova's are uh, mine and which are the simulacrums. Remember that our radius is uh, improved and then the uh, delay between uh, the simulacrums cast is between eight and nine frames. I haven't like, can't quite remember which it is <laughs> from my previous testing, but it's about that much. And you can see here's the Nova damage from my Nova splashing into the zombies here. And then we get uh, the wave from the two simulacrums, the damage is starting. And here's the number that's really uh, the tell, this 315308, uh, so 3 million value there. Came on the second wave, it's one of the last damage values to pop up, meaning it's likely from a simulacrum. At least that's our best guess, right? And then guess what pops up? area damage. Uh, so this, in my mind, is high, high likelihood of simulacrums proccing area damage from a manual cast. So as a result of this newfound information, I will definitely be re-releasing my uh, Blood Nova push 
built guide yet again uh, with slightly uh, changed affixes for not fully orienting for area damage but just including them where I can. Uh, at lower paragon I will feature less area damage and then at higher paragon I will probably feature slightly more area damage. Um, Re-releasing the video yet again and I wanted to thank everyone for uh, contributing, especially Bryce Gu and uh, anyone else who's been testing and uh, trying to figure this out. This is the time, I mean, uh, I can't do everything. Uh, it's, it's easier for me sometimes to uh, look back on my past testing rather than uh, confirm things again, especially if they're hard to test. So, um, yeah, hopefully this uh, satisfies and we can, uh, yeah, take advantage of this newfound knowledge.